Hello everyone. Welcome back. And if this is your first time here, all the more the welcome. Uh, this channel is all about trying to figure out, is it possible? Note the word, is it? I'm not saying that it is, but I have pretty good faith that it can be done where we use only magnets to make other magnets move in a rotational field or direction. So I've revamped everything for now. I had another really sweet wheel was gonna go here, but I ran some issues because I didn't have the proper nut. So I fell back on this other wheel that I have that doesn't drag, it spins beautifully. It's metal, unfortunately, but here or there, I've been getting great results with the metal wheel. I can't get the camera up any higher. My boom stand is up all the way. Uh, this table's up high and the stand is on the floor. So um, I'm just trying to give you the best perspective I can for now. Okay, so let me show you how well balanced this is. I've got one weight off on the side here. If it's out of balance, it's going to find its sweet spot wherever that sweet spot will be. So let me just do this. I'm going to warn you, this wheel turns really nicely. It's going to take a moment. I'm not going to spin it too fast, though. But I'll make sure it makes a full turn at least. Yeah, that'll make a full turn. Now, I'll tell you now, it is a smidge. I do mean a smidge out of balance. But what little bit of balance that is out it is so insignificant in the scheme of things because we're dealing with some very serious torque here. And because of the heavy-duty torque, this little teeny weeny bit that is out doesn't matter. So let's see if this reverses direction now to find a sweet spot. I mean, I worked hard trying to get this thing level. I worked hard. I worked for an hour. Oh, okay. Is it still moving? Yeah, it's still moving a smidge. That's to show you how freely this wheel moves. Okay, so, and I've oiled this really nicely. I got a lock nut on here, but I, I, I lack the tool underneath to hold the nut. So I, 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 it's very thin. I have to be able to have a wrench that's really, really thin to hold that nut still while I lock this down. So this could change and start to become overly tight. All right, I just want to show you that. So this is where we're at now. Alrighty, let me cut the footage here and let me get busy again. This is an incorrect configuration. Yet what I'm about to show you works regardless. So only imagine if this was properly, if the magnets were turned the other way where they faced this stator that I made. This is the original stator I made 11 years ago. This is the only one I have left that I haven't taken apart show people what's inside. Now, I want to show you why this works and how it works. The principle behind the stator is that one side is stronger, the other side is weaker. What does that mean in magnetism if one side is weaker and the other side is stronger? It means we have an imbalance. When you have a magnet both sides are the same strength. You, you, you don't, wow, look how, this, this is already turning this from way up here. Um, magnets are the same strength on both ends and both sides. They don't vary. But here, there's a magnet I have inside of here. It's laying face down. In here, it's in attraction mode. And one side of this magnet is stronger. The other side of this magnet is weaker. Actually, there's no magnetism back here at all. Um, let me find you a screw. The kind that you put in a piece of wood, that is. <laughs> you check this out here, okay. It's late, I'm giddy. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's late and I'm giddy. You see the screw right here? Look, it wants to hold onto the screw here and here. Even the sides have enough magnetism to hold the screw in place. See? But, even though we can put it here and it'll go there, watch this. You ready for this little demo? Ready? Oh, it went around to the side. This is not going to stay there. It goes around the side, but it doesn't stay there. See, here, now, there's no magnetism right here, by the way. There's none. 
There's zero. The, the magnetic field starts about two thirds away across the face of this plate. I call this a face plate. So as the magnets run across here, it sees the stronger field. But the counter attraction over here is what? It's weaker. It's not as strong as this side. So that gives us an imbalance. Okay? So watch this. Now I gotta move this away. Okay, I'm gonna give this just a teensy weensy, just a little, just a little bit of a just a little bit of push. Obviously, it's not gonna go anywhere, is it? It's not gonna keep going around. See, it's dying already. In fact, it didn't even pick up any speed, right? And it's gonna stop. There's a lot of grease on this wheel and oil. These are great ball bearings. Okay, now watch this. Plus, it's still interacting with this uh, uh, piece of metal here a little bit. Watch this. Now, we'll put this back. I'm going to put my stator here. The original stator. Put it like that. Got to keep it up high. Now, watch. I'll give it that same, just almost no push at all. Just a little, just a, I'm just right there, just a little tiny nudge. Just look how slow that is. Now look at that. It's going faster than what it was the first demonstration. And it's also going faster than what I nudged it. So we have what? Acceleration. Now it's not going to go past this point because there's, there's, it's, there's a big gap here. Okay? It's intentional. So you have multiple stators like I have on these lines marked out. And then when this runs out here, the next stator will pick up. So as this gets ready to run out, Another stator will be here, and it'll start to pull on this. So as it pulls on this here, right here, what's it going to do? It's going to help to eject this one out away from the stator as this one over here gets pulled into the stator. Okay? Here, let me do a little demonstration with a handheld magnet. You'll get my point. Let me let this go around again. Oop, way too fast. Okay? Now, I'll suddenly introduce this at the right moment, and then I'll hold it there. Oh, I have this in repulsion mode. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, let me do that again. Let it go around. Wow, that picked up some speed, didn't it? Okay. Now, I add this here. See? It jumped the gap. But it's not going to keep jumping the gap. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> anyway, it's not going to keep going, trust me. I'm pretty sure it won't keep going. Yeah, I see it's slowing down now. But the whole point here is look at what's possible. This is amazing. Now, if I put it on this side, watch it really take off. I don't think it will, though, because it's got to jump the gap. Uh, let me do, let it do this. Watch this. We're looking to really pick up speed now. But anyway, you get the point. And of course, you do this again. Watch this. There's a little tiny nudge. Pull the stator out. It's like pulling the plug. See, it's slowing down. It's not even going to make it. But you put the stator back. It will make it all the way around. Make sure this is not getting too tight. Okay. Just a little nudge. Now it will make it all the way around, up to the point where the magnets run out. That means this stator is actually powering the wheel. Okay. It's not going to keep going. So I just want you to demonstrate that. This. This really does what I say it does. Go make your own. Have some fun. They're not hard to make. I'll be making a video detailed how these are made. And I'll be making a bunch of these. We'll put them all the way around the wheel. We'll have a bigger wheel, a proper wheel on here, like the original wheel I had years ago. And I'll replicate what I did 11 years ago. And 11 years ago, it was working fine. But I never tried to see how long it would run. I just didn't. It didn't dawn on me to do that. I let it run. Also, the other thing, too, back then... You couldn't have videos longer than 10 minutes. So it made no difference. I think that's what the issue was. I, I couldn't make a 30 or two minute, I mean a two hour video showing it running. Couldn't do it. 
and then eventually they, they creeped up to 15 minutes. And that stayed at 15 minutes for two or three years. At that point in time, I had already taken the wheel apart. I was going to make something better, and then my life changed. So I never got to it. All right, that's it. Good night.